What's up guys, Black Wolves here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2019 sorry, for the 12th episode uh, of the Team Sunweb career mode. In today's episode we're going to do the entirety of the uh, Vuelta Pais Basco or Istulia Basque Country. Now if you haven't seen the previous episode then please go ahead and do so. Uh, I uploaded I think uh, 10 and 11th episode on uh, Saturday. The 10th episode was the Volta Catalunya and the 11th was uh, Belgian Classics. One episode went much better than the other. Uh, I'll let you figure out which one. But uh, yeah, today's episode, as I said, Basque Country. So the lineup we're going to go for is Wilke Kalderman as our leader. He'll, uh, he'll be helped by Chris Hamilton, Nicolas Roche, Michael Stara, Jan Bakelans, Kiesbol, and Johannes Frölinga. Uh, route wise, we'll have a team, uh, sorry, we'll have a time trial to begin with. Then we'll have a flat stage, uh, a hilly, no sorry, another flat stage, my bad. Then a hill stage, um, another hill stage, and another hill stage. So, yeah, probably not the strongest lineup, like maybe a Zoran Kraft Anderson could do well as well. Um, actually, a Zoran Kraft Anderson could do maybe very well. Uh, we're we're going to get rid of Johannes Follinger and we're going to have Zoran Kraft Anderson instead. Alright, um, well, let's go. And we're ready to go for the uh, first time trial of the Itzulia Vast Country, starting with Michael Stara uh, for 10 kilometers. Um, I'm going to be really honest, I have absolutely no idea as how to do this time trial between Zumaraga and Zumaraga. Uh, there's a descent towards the first checkpoint, which is good, but then there's a solid, solid climb. So, yeah, I don't know really how to do it right now. We're, we're gonna go with 76, we're followed by TJ Van Garderen, so there's a huge chance that he overtakes me. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to, like, use this time to check the start list. Dukan Quick Step is coming with Ala Philippe. Fugel Song and Miguel Lopez will lead the Astana team, as Carapaz, Quintana, and Valverde will lead Movistar. Primo Roglic and Kroivak for Jumbo Visma. Bernal and Kutkowski for Ineos. Nibali for Bahrain Merida, Simon Yates for Mitchelton Scott, um, Dan Martin for UAE, with Fabio Aru and Tagesh Pogokar, Roman Bardet for Arjun Zert, Bopino for Groupama, Bauke Molema for Trek Segafredo, with Richie Port, Michael Woods, uh, Rigoberto Uran for EF, uh, well, Kaldeman for us, Buchmann for Boransgrohe, uh, Zakarin for Katusha, Valgren for Dimension Data, Bevin for CCC, Dehen for Lotto Sudal, uh, Cesar, no, Christian Rodriguez, sorry, for Carral, and uh, Sergio Rodriguez for Euskadi Basque Country. Well, the summit of the climb were lacking yellow massively, uh, but we're in the descent now, so we probably will uh, get some energy back a bit. Okay, uh, 76 might be good if, for someone that actually can, like, time trial. Alright, approaching the finish line now. Uh, in Zumaraga, it's going to be second provisional time for Michael Stara, and first time for TJ Van Garderen. Next up to leave is Nicolas Roche for us. Right, Nicolas Roche wasn't on a good day, so I didn't even decide to like show what he did. Uh, he finishes at 1:22 behind uh, the new leader Rigoberto Uran. Valverde is fifth. Uh, Pierre Latour is third. Already like some big names in the top ten. There's not a single one in the top ten that hasn't got a chance to like win a stage. So, if I can like be in the top 10 with Wilco, I'll happily take that. Um, but in the meantime, we're on the way with uh, Zoran Kraft Anderson. For once, we don't have a leader behind us. Uh, next time, like last time, we had TJ and Rigoberto Uran, and we've got Sasha Modolo. But yeah, Zoran Kraft Anderson uh, on the road. Miguel Angel Lopez takes the first time in the exact same second as his um, Colombian um, uh, comrade. There you go. Not the word I want to use, but it's fine. 18.14 for the Astana rider. At the first checkpoint, we're 13 seconds down the road already. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can have like a better descent, maybe, uh, in the second part of uh, this time trial with Zoran Carpenter. Well, no, because we completely run out of yellow at the, the summit of uh, the slight hill. Which is a shame. 15th time for Zoran Carpenter. Okay, so 76, you need to like be able to climb quite well. I think Wilco Kelderman can like easily do it. I, I truly think so. 
We have a rider on a very good shape. Chris Hamilton leaving the star in Zumaraga, 76 mountain, 77 hills, 75 team time, uh, time trial for uh, the Australian in the plus five today. Um, and it looks to be a good day for Australia because Richie Port has taken the lead seven seconds ahead of both Colombians. So we may be onto something here with Chris. We may be onto something. Let's see. Chris Hamilton at the first intermediate points, 25th, 14 seconds down the road. But now is the time where he's going to where he's going to shine in the mountain. His specialty, the only place where he's good actually. Chris Hamilton is going to uh, approach now uh, the uh, steepest part of the climb, a uh, 14, 15, 16, make that 17 percent, 18 percent now. Can reach 19? Yes, 19 percent gradient in this climb. We've overtaken Daniel Os. Um, next up on the road is Alejandro De Marquez. We probably won't overtake him. Alright, Chris Hamilton is going to pace now a lot at the summit. We're going to reduce the, the use of energy because we're approaching the descent now. And uh, we probably will be a bit short on yellow. I probably pushed him a bit too much uh, towards the end here as we go uh, through the uh, 1 km sign now. Chris Hamilton over the line in Zumaraga. Can it be a good time? Yes, it is. A fourth time for the, um, the young rider from Sunweb. 13 seconds behind Richie Port. Incredible time from uh, from Chris Hamilton here. Right, and we're on the way. Final time trial of the day. Wilco Calderman starts his own effort. 10 kilometers to go for um, for Wilco. Second and runner-up of Paris-Nice. Winner of the Col de Turini. He showed great strength during the month of March. Can he make it like better in this uh, Early April, we'll have to see. But um, behind us is Michael Woods, ahead of us is Emmanuel Buchmann. The All the leaders are now on track. Bauke Mollema, Thibaut Pino, Romain Bardet, Dan Martin, everyone's on track. Steven Kroevek is currently leading in Zumaraga. He's ahead of Richie Paul by three little seconds. But can he hold on to this lead um, as the leaders are now making their way through the finish? I do not know. I do not know. Wilco Kalaman, though, nonetheless, um, is currently eighth. Six little seconds behind Mihal Kutkowski at the first intermediate point. We're pacing a bit more than usual um, because he's our leader and he has better stats than all of our guys. Alright, let's see. Patrick Bevin about to get uh, overtaken by Emmanuel Burman, the leader of Boransgrohe in uh, the steeper spot of uh, this, uh, this hill. 22.8%. How steep is that 22.8 jesus fuck wow right we're in the descent now with wilco calderman he crossed the summit 2.4 kilometers now until the line can he hold on to uh, a solid position here we'll uh, we'll have to see on the line patrick bevin and emmanuel buchmann buchmann's gonna have a good time it's the fourth time for the german calderman sprinting now towards the finish line wilco calderman over the line it's Fourth time, seven seconds behind Steven Kroivaik. Very good time trial by the, um, the leader of the team Sunweb. Up next on the line is going to be Michael Woods. Uh, it's not going to be good. Boko Molomer, same, it's going to be a mess. Petit Pino, not going to be able to do a good time trial. Same goes for Martin and Romain Bardet. Simon Yates, that's for, uh, going to be down the road as well. Vincent Zonibali is quite far. Egan Bernal. Bernal is probably going to be in the same time as I am. Primoz Roglic is going to be a, on a great time. Carapaz, not good. Jacob Fulsang, eh. And Julien Lafilippe, uh, we'll see that at the first intermediate point for the Frenchman. 17 seconds down the road. Okay. I think we can be the best leader after today. Well, I mean, behind, like, Primo Roglic. Seven minutes over the line. Oh, wow, it's the exact same second. He managed to do a second off at the time trial. Incredible. Nibali, there was a descent. Nibali probably gained time in the descent, didn't he? He didn't. 10 seconds behind. Egan Bernal over the line. He was in the f same second and near the first intermediate points. First first time for Egan Bernal. 11 seconds quicker than Steven Kroivak. Primoz Roglic crosses the line. First time 4 seconds quicker than Egan Bernal. Okay. I didn't see that coming. Richard Carapaz to cross the line as well. The winner of the Giro. 4th place. 18 seconds. Kellerman is now in 8th position. 24 seconds down the road for our leader. 
Jacob Fugel song crosses the finish line. It's uh, ooh, it's bad. 27th, nearly a minute down already for the Dane. And finally, Junior Lafitte across the line. It's it's a minute down the road for Julien Lafilippe as Primoz Roglic wins the uh, inaugural time trial of the Itzulia Basque Country between Zumaraga and Zumaraga. 5 seconds ahead of Egan Bernal, 17 seconds ahead of third place Steven Kroivaik. We bring home 7th with Wilke Kellerman, which is more than fine. Uh, and yeah, here's your yellow jersey after today's stage. And we're ready for this first stage, the first road stage actually, of the uh, Itzulia Basque Country between Zumaraga and Goraic. A sprint stage, um, we have no actual sprinter, so probably Zoran Kraft Anderson for... Uh, oh, actually no, we've got Case Ball. I forgot about him, we've got Case Ball. Okay, well Case Ball gonna, is going to be our leader. Um, already some attempts at a breakaway, we're not going to do anything, any breakaway. Uh, I'm not going to go for the um, mountain jersey in uh, in this tour. So the break already is with Amesh Quetta, Lawrence Nazan, Jan Tratnik, Willy Smith, uh, Sergio Samiti and Ryan Mullen trying to come back uh, with Andreas Molina and Mats Schmitz, we're going to be at the front of the peloton uh, but we're going to let everything uh, go as planned not going to pace at all for uh, this first stage of the um, Itzia Bus Country and trying to get the win hopefully with Case Ball um, but there's a slight hill at the end and I'm not sure he's going to be able to like do it even though he's on the plus 2 ok we've entered the final 10 kilometers. Um, there's no breakaway anymore, Dylan Tunes was the last man in the group uh, but he got um, brought back by the peloton at the uh, internet sprint. I don't know who's mountain leader, I didn't check, um, so we'll have to see that uh, in the classification. But again, 8.3 km to go, we're going to sprint for KS Ball today. Uh, I'm scared that he's going to lose too much energy on this bit. Look at him, he's already losing so much. And he's bet. Okay, you're going to have to come back, KS. I'm not kidding. You and Kraft Anderson, you're going to have to come back massively. Um, 5 km to go now. Time to give it all we've got. We're gonna use the gels, uh, maybe a bit early. 200 meters too, too early. Wilke Kellerman is not in the will of Case Ball, that's not good because uh, I wanted him there. Alright, Chris Hamilton, 4 minutes to go. The sprint train is there in the wheel of Case Ball, is Peter Seri and also Julien Lafilippe, which is not reassuring, but we're gonna try our best either way. Nicolas Roche starts his efforts. Followed by Soren Kraft Anderson. Case Ball is there. Wilco Kellerman is not there at all whatsoever. I don't know what happened with uh, with Wilco. There he is. He's, he just came back a bit late. Case Ball in the climb. Can he overtake Soren Kraft Anderson? Yes. Can he hold on to Julian Lafleep? Uh, it's going to be Soren Kraft Anderson today in uh, in Gorage. Second place for Julian Lafleep. Followed by Case Ball. Wilco Kellerman, Thibaut Pino, Nicolas Roche. And then a peloton led by uh, Chris Hamilton. Good, we take the win with Zoran Kraft Anderson, Case Ball in third, Wilco in fifth, in fourth, sorry, Nico Roche and Chris Hamilton in sixth and seventh. Very good bunch group for us. Um, okay, it's be it's good to finally like do some good results after the abysmal episode of uh, that was well last time. All right, I'll see you on the podiums. It's a win for Zoran Kraft Anderson, and there's a gap. We gain by 12 seconds. Uh, we win, sorry, by 12 seconds over a peloton um, who lost some elements. Steven Kroivak has been dropped. The same has been, uh, can be said for Bob Jungles or Elnor Zakarin. Okay. Valentin Madouas, TJ Van Garderen. Some guys are dropped here and there. Uh, and that's quite surprising. But to be honest, the finish was quite tough. Uh, and it shows by the podium. Zoran Kravans and Julian Lafilippe. I mean, KS Ball is a bit out there, but it was a sprint. So obviously I'm going to do well. Uh, but GC-wise... Primo Roglic keeps his jersey, Egan Bernal, Carapaz, Richard, uh, Richard, Richie Ports, and Ketkowski still in the top 5. Wilke Kalaman is still 6th. No, so I moved up a position, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I moved up one position. I moved up Steven Kovac. There you go. Um, I thought Son Kravanderson was a bit uh, like closer GC-wise. He wasn't. Uh, he's now in the top 25. Points-wise, uh, Son Kravanderson takes the lead. Mountain-wise, it's Jan Tratnik ahead of Dylan Tuns. The best young is still Egan Bernal, the best team, probably us? No, Team Ineos. Okay, I'll see you for the third stage between Sariguren Sari and Eshkibalis. We're on the way for the third stage of uh, the uh, Itulia Basque Country. I really want to call it Volta Pais Vasco, I think that's just like my... 
like um, memory doing that. But um, we're currently leading with a little bit of the sun after uh, winning yesterday's stage. Uh, we're, we're, we're wearing so the um, the points leader jersey. Case ball is just behind third place yesterday. Again, not gonna send anyone in the break today. Uh, it's a heady finish. So a finish that could suit Kraft Anderson once again or even um, Wilco. We're going to try our best, uh, see if we can get another dub uh, on uh, the Spanish tour. Uh, Kelderman's fitness peak has ended, uh, so that's not great. But hopefully he can continue for at least the remainder of the race, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, we're just going to take a look at the breaks. We've got Lawrence Nazan and Enrico Batalin. Nazan was already in the break yesterday, if I'm correct. Sergio Samitia is there as well with Yellow Wallace and um, Jonathan Lastra, Michael Delage has attacked, Dylan Tunes uh, is going to follow with St um, Ben King and Roger Kluge, Dylan Tunes second of the mountain classification, uh, so maybe he's going to try and go for the Jersey World by his teammate uh, who's somewhere, somewhere there, I saw him earlier, there we go, Jan Tratnik, uh, well, we shall have to see, but uh, yeah, I'll probably see you for the finish line now. Fifteen kilometers left in uh, the third stage of the uh, Volta Pais Vasco, and uh, we still have a breakaway with Thomas de Rent, Dylan Tunt, and Enrico Batalin. Um, I don't know who to sprint for. Uh, do I sprint with Kesbol or Krav? I think I'm going to go with Zoran Krav Anderson. Uh, I, th I think it's just the wisest bet. So Nicolas Roche, Krav Anderson. Uh, we'll have Chris Hamilton in the mix as well. And uh, Jan Bakerons, wherever he is, there he is. Okay, so that's my train. Jan Bakerons, Chris Hamilton, Nicolas Roche, Zoran Kraft Anderson, and Wilco Kelderman. As always, you do know that I love to sprint with my leaders. Uh, and it brought me quite a lot of success in this career mode and on PCM in general. So we're going to continue that. Uh, we're going to catch the breakaway, which is good. Where's Zoran? He's on the right hand side of the road. We're going to move our train to the right so that no one's going to get blocked. For sake. Um, okay, moving the train to the right side of the road should be easy business, hopefully. Okay, we're good. 8 kilometers to go. Jan Bakerons spacing a bit much. We're just going to reduce the pace as Bob Jungles is going completely crazy right now at the front of the peloton. Uh, he's being followed by the two, uh, the two Jumbo Visma guy of um, well, being Nielsen Paulus and Floris de Thiers. Alright, let's go. 4.2 to sorry, hold on, English. 4.2 kilometers to go until the uh, bottom of Estibalis, the uh, climb where the finish will be located in today's stage. We're gonna increase the rhythm once again with uh, this time Chris Hamilton, 13th of the GC, best young rider, no, third best young rider, making a move on the left hand side of the road, sprinting to 99 now. As uh, we're going to take a left turn towards the start of uh, of the climb, and another left turn. Nicolas Roche starts his efforts. Zoran Kraft Anderson in the wheel. Julien Lafilippe is very well placed here, at the front of the peloton. Uh, but he hasn't made a move yet, and it may be a bit late for uh, the uh, former yellow jersey of the Tour de France. Wilke Kelderman is just too strong today. It's a win for Wilke Kelderman ahead of Zoran Kraft Anderson, Julien Lafilippe, Luc Mesgetch. Nicolas Roche, uh, Peter Seri, Bashka, Valverde, there might be a gap once again. I think there's going to be a gap. Michal Kietkowski brings him 10th uh, place, 9th place. And uh, Ian Bernal finishes in 12th. The leaders, where's the leader? Oh, from Roglic. Finishes just behind Bernal. But yeah, win for Kelderman, so that's at least... Oh, there's no bonus time. Oh. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. But win, one, uh, nonetheless, 1, 2, and 5 for the sum up today. I'll take that. Once again, there is a gap between the winners and the peloton, and Wilke Kelderman is going to make a great use of, uh, of this gap following today's win. He's now up to third place, only 8 little seconds behind Primoz Roglic. Uh, we're having a very successful tour right now. Two stages, two road stages, two wins. One for Zoran Kraft uh, Anderson, and one for Wilke Kelderman. Uh, which means that points-wise, Zoran Kravonson keeps his uh, point jersey. Mountain-wise, it's now Thomas de Rent leading. Egan Bernal still leads the uh, white classification as the team Sunweb is now one second ahead of Ineos for the team one. Uh, okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Next up, 
is the first hilly stage between Vitoria and uh, Arigoriaga. Alright, the stage has started for quite a while now, I completely forgot to do the intro. Um, but yeah, fourth stage between Vitoria and Arigoriaga. Um, it's not going to be the hardest stage, uh, I think it's quite a good... I, I honestly think it's going to be an easy win for us, uh, and that's how confident I am. Um, like, there's the... There's a climb just before the line. Wilco isn't the best descender, so that's quite sad. But Zoran Carfanderson can descend quite well, uh, so I might count on him to uh, to do uh, the descend and go for a second stage win. There's a lot of riders though uh, trying to be in the main group here. Um, the like of Elnor Zakarin. You've got a well, the Lanterns Thomas de Rentas now classic. Um, Valentin Madouas is in the break. Alexandre Genez, Amaron Tunes trying to reach as well for, with Michael Valgren. Like, a lot of riders are trying to be in the breakaway. The more people there is, uh, the harder it'll be for me. But, you know what, I, I'm, I'm up for a challenge. I don't even have to pace because I'm not the, lead in the leader's team. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and go for the win. I uh, don't know how I'm going to do it, but I feel like I can. Alright, the rhythm has severely increased over the, next, uh, over the last few kilometers. Oh my god, crash! Crash! Primo Froglitch and Egan Bernal are down! Primo Froglitch! And the Egan Bernal are down. Absolutely. Oh, that's massive. That is massive. That's massive. That means the yellow jersey is going to stop. It, like, is gone. First of the GC and second of the GC are gone. Anyone retiring, maybe? No. Okay, but no Roglic, no Carapaz, no Bernal. We're not going to pace as much as we can because, first of all, there's a break we need to catch. And also, there's no leaders and I have no heart. So, obviously, I'm going to pace behind them. Well, no, ahead of them to, like, prevent them from catching us. That's just what I do. Um, I'm gonna give water to Kisbol. I mean, come on, just to uh, hydrate the lad. Um, okay, so now that we have to pace that much, I don't know what to do for the climb. Um, I mean, thank, thank God Hamilton has energy. That's already like a b big thing. Uh, because we're gonna need a lot of energy towards, like, towards that. Alright, let's go. Pace 94, the climb is starting. The breakaway is 1 minute 20 ahead. Uh, where's the group? Okay, they're, they're gonna try and come back. Like, Steven Kovac and Michal Kutkowski are giving it all they have, and they're probably gonna come back at the bottom of the climb. But the good thing is, they probably won't be there. Uh, uh, like, won't be at the front of the group when there'll be, like, attacks and everything. Chris Hamilton has stopped his efforts because the, ga the, the guy is gone. Craig Anderson in the descent. All right, come on. We need to. I need to like give it absolutely all. Uh, where's? Right, we're just gonna take a look and see where. Uh, okay, Carapaz is here. Carapaz is at the bottom. Oh, Egan Bernal is not exactly here as well. Like they're here, but not really. Attack by Wilco Kelderman. We're gonna attack with Wilco just before the descent. Um, the aim is simple. To stay in the will of Kraft Anderson, there you go. The win, nonetheless, probably is going to be for Valentin Madouas, uh, the uh, young Frenchman. Is Oh, actually, actually, no, he's going to get... Oh, wow, that's so sad. That's sad. Oh, Jeunesse died on the line. Jeunesse died on the line. The win today for Thomas de Rennes ahead of Valentin Madouas, Alexandre Jeunesse, Dylan Tunes, uh, Kraft Anderson, Kelderman, Court Nielsen, Valverde, yet. Okay, where's your... Where's the lad? Carapaz is with Lucas Hamilton, no, Chris Hamilton, sorry, with Bernal as well. Okay, there might have been a lot of damage here. It was a rematch of uh, the World Cup final, uh, the World Cup semi-finals, and this time, Belgium beat France. Thomas de Rent tops off the sprint ahead of Valentin Madouas and Alexandre Nies, who I really th thought they had the win, but they choked. Zoran Carvanderson finishes in, in fifth with Wilco in sixth. No gaps with uh, this group, however... Please tell me there's a gap. There's no gaps with... There's no gaps with Roglic and Bernal. Are you mad? I finished a minute ahead of them. I'm pissed. Okay, well. No gaps at all. Uh, we're still third of the GC, I guess, uh, as we enter the uh, queen stage of the Italia Basque country. Queen stage. Of uh, the um, Itzulia Basque Country, and Wilco Kelderman's injured. Well, not injured, but he's not feeling well. Um, which, 
completely sucks. Yeah, let's be honest. It, it's just not good. Uh, I'm hoping to have not many attacks in the main group. Um, but yeah, I'm not not really uh, happy about that. That's probably because like he didn't get a gap yesterday, so he probably was pissed. But uh, yeah, Ari Goriaga, Arate, fifth and final. Uh, no, sorry, fifth and queen stage of uh, of this tour. We're gonna send Nicolas Roche in the break. My man's on a plus five, so might as well. Like, no, I didn't want to attack with Chris Hamilton. Um, right, Nicolas Roche in the in the group. Sorry, with Lukas Ozian and uh, Maxi Schachmann. Kundekort, Christian Rodriguez, Iano Zakarin, trying to uh, be in the group as well. We're gonna stop with Chris Hamilton because. I want him to be with Welico. Uh, but yeah, with Nico in the group now, I think I might try and focus Dipol Kodadrezi. I said I wouldn't go for it. But, I mean, there's what? Like, uh, 12, 15, 15, 25 points to be taken today. I don't know how many points the leader has. Uh, we're going to check that right now. 17, and it's Dylan Tunes, and he's not in the break. Valentin Madoas isn't either. Thomas Dorent isn't either. Only Ilno Zakarin has points, I think, in the break. Uh, and Kun de Kort. So yeah, we're going to try and get points with the polka dot, for the polka dot jersey. Don't know how it's going to go. Um, but, I mean, you never know until you try, so let's go. Alright, the only issue I'm going to have is because Nicolas Roche is, might be on the plus 5. He's not, like, the greatest drawer ever, even, the, even with the plus 5. So I'm worried, like, st stats to get points, for example, acceleration, doesn't have the highest stat here. Uh, come on, can I get 3? Did I get 3? I did, okay, I did get 3 points. Uh, Zacharin got none, which in a way is a good thing. Uh, the next time is in 30km, we'll have time to recover. Approaching the club of uh, Nachitua, 1.5km to go, we're gonna increase the rhythm. Uh, I don't know who's gonna make the first move, probably Enor Zacharin. Uh, or actually, I might just make the first move right now. Uh, Rodriguez has attacked with me and you, Carthy. Uh, I, come on, just hold on mate, you you can accelerate, you've got this, you've got this, easy points for Nicolas Roche, nice one. Uh, there's another climb though in like 5 kilometers. so I'm gonna stay, uh, do I, do I wanna rest? Because usually like I'd attack, but because the climb is so close, I think if I had attacked, they wouldn't have like let me go and they would have followed, so I would have lost. Uh, that's why I'm still pacing as we start the club of Beda Runner now. If they attack... Okay, they've attacked really early. They've attacked really early. And Hugh Carthy has completely... St Hugh Carthy stopped his attack to then attack. I think you're all dumb. I think that's the correct word here. And uh, yeah, I can't follow the attack of Hugh Carthy. Rodriguez, Schachmann. Schachmann going for the points here. Hugh Carthy, Bob Jungles... Uh, Maxi Schachmann. Right, I'm on 6 points. I need to get 11 more points, knowing that there's 16 points to be taken today. It's still easily doable. I really need to win the first cat, to win the first cat though. We've attacked in uh, the uh, Ari Bignetta. It's Michael Valgren who's made the first move, followed by Schachmann, Rodriguez, Nicolas Roche, Kundekort. For, for some reason, Elna Zakarin hasn't got a single point today, and that's very odd, com considering he was like the highest ranked guy before today's stage. Um, Maxi Schaman though will get points or Christian Rodriguez. Christian Rodriguez getting points today, not getting a single one with Nico Roche, that's not good. Dylanton still leading the way, Christian Rodriguez is on 9 points, Nico Roche still on 6. I really need to get points uh, at the Izua, otherwise I might be done for. After thinking about it, Pro Zacharin maybe has reserved all his strength for this climb, but he is the climb I did. Where's Zacharin? Oh, he still had. The oh, Zacharin wasn't pacing because he, had, because he had a teammate. Oh, so that's why he didn't do anything. Good to know. We're gonna pace with Nico Roche nonetheless. Uh, I think the aim is simple. Uh, if I pace with a high rhythm, they can't overtake me, uh, and I can like drop people that aren't the strongest. Zacharin is there with Schachmann and Valgren at the end of the group. Oh, Yukarthy is gone. Okay. Where's Wilco? Wilco still at the head of at the front of the peloton. That's good. I'm um, really struggling and I'm really worried about his uh, state of health at the moment. That, like, I really have a lot of concerns about this. Nico Roche is going with uh, Christian Rodriguez to try and get the points. Zacharin, nonetheless, coming back. He's, he, he's got some strength under his belt, the, um, the young Russian. 
Come on, make the make the cut, make the cut. Yes, we've made the cut to the descent. Come on, and again, and again, and again, and again. You've got this, you've got this, you've got this. Maximum points for Nicolas Roche at the summit of the climb. He's on 17, uh, 16 points now. Um, I think Rodriguez is on 18 or 16 as well. 15, Zachary on 16. It's going to be a very close battle uh, because there's still tomorrow's stage to get points. Meanwhile, in the peloton, Wilco Kelderman has made the cut with everyone else. Uh, so that's already good to know. But uh, I'm I'm really concerned about Wilco. I really am. Um, Jan Bakulans are going to get water for the boys. Zorncraft, you're going to... Or just Zoran actually. You're going to rest a bit. And up ahead, Nicolas Roche, you can wait for Rodriguez. And Ilnor Zakarin. So, if someone in the group... Uh, if someone in the breakaway... Uh, I mean, Demarc and Schachmann are gone, so I don't count them in. But if either myself, Zakarin or Rodriguez are first at the end of the Trabacua, we will have a new Polkadot um, leader, or well, new mountain classification leader. Uh, so I'm going to hope that it's me. The gap is 37 seconds over the peloton. Uh, I can't pay that much otherwise, because I'm going to die with Nico. Yeah, okay, Nico's gone. Nico's gone. Christian Rodriguez is... Oh, actually. Actually, if I can sit in that wheel and now go, I may have a chance right now. Uh, Chris Hamilton has died in the peloton, so the guy who was meant to help my uh, to help Wilco is gone. Uh, and it's going to be... Oh, come on, Nico, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this. Fight through it. Yes, my guy, Nico Roche, is going to be leading the mountain classification after today's stage. 19 points for uh, the Irish rider. He's now <laughs> two points ahead of Dylan Tunes, Zacharin, and Christian Rodriguez, who are all three on 17 points. Good, 15 kilometers to go, and we just have one more climb, but it's the main one. Start of the climb and immediately some attacks. Dan Martin followed by Rigoberto Uran. And I can't let these guys go. I mean, I can't, like, Dan Martin is fine because he's a minute down. But Rigoberto Uran is very close. GC Wise is in the exact same group as Wilco Kelderman. Uh, so I can't let this guy go. Wilco Kelderman in the wheel of Zoran Kraft Anderson. We're trying to pace but not too much to try and keep Kelderman in a sort of a decent shape um, if possible. Who's that? That's Richard Carapaz again. Can't let this guy go either. Wilco Kellerman is going to make the move now to try and uh, get Carapaz, Bernal, Uran, and Primo Roglic. Primo is struggling. Primo str is uh, struggling. I don't think he can follow uh, Carapaz. Wilco, though, he might be injured, but he's for sure on a good day. Okay. If I can make a gap today, that'd be good. Because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow with my shape. I have no idea what fitness-wise it's going to happen, uh, although Carapaz is strong. I'm pacing 88 and I'm getting dropped. Carapaz is very strong here today. Uh, the good thing is there's like a slight downhill. Why are, is everyone pacing that much? Can you please slow the fuck down? Thank you. It didn't work. There's a slight descent. Uh, okay, I'm going to get dropped. Well, I'm, I'm Okay, I'm not. The win for Simon Yates ahead of Miguel Lopez, Bernal, Carapaz, Uran, Kelderman, Fugelsang and Roglic. Dan Martin, Ala Philippe, Nibali and Zoran Kraf Anderson is going to try and bring a top 15 home, but I'm not sure about it. No gaps once again in uh, this finish in Arate, which means that Primoz Roglic, despite struggling today, is still leading the classification. 5 seconds ahead of Egan Bernal and 8 seconds over Wilco Kelderman. Everything is yet to play in, today, in tomorrow's stage in Ibar. I don't think there's going to be any gaps again. But you never know. If you play your cards right, maybe maybe something can happen. Will Primoz Roglic beat once again Wilco Kelderman for less than 10 seconds? Wait, no. Did I win Paris-Nice? I I, wait, 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 wait. I need to confirm something with myself here. I did win Paris-Nice. Oh, okay. Hey. I'm, I'm not smart. I, I forgot I won the tour. Uh, but yeah. One more stage in the Basque Country. Points-wise, Wilco Kelderman has taken the, lead, the, the points jersey over Soren Kraft, uh, Soren Kraft Anderson's shoulders. Nicolas Roche is leading the mountain-wise. Uh, the mountain one, sorry. Egan Bernal is leading the points. Uh, no. Is in the best young rider. Jeez. And Astana is the best team.
we've left Ibar for um, the final stage of the Itzulia Pass country for uh, 115 kilometers before reaching Ibar once again. We're gonna have Nicola Roche immediately in the breakaway because there's a climb and if I can be alone in the climb before everyone attacks me then that's good. For example, I don't want Christian Rodriguez to attack but he just did so. We're gonna attack with Jan Bakelons as well. Uh, if we can have like two guys in the break, that's very good. Okay, so Nicolas Roche is gonna follow Jan Bakelons and Jan Bakelons is gonna pace. That's gonna be the main thing. Um, Sadly, there's the peloton, and the peloton doesn't really like the breakaway that's currently happening. Uh, so I might stop pacing. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stop pacing. And be ready for another attack at one point. I don't know when, but I'm pretty sure there'll be an attack at one point. Where's Kisbol? At the back. You'd love to see it. Uh, where's Wilco? Not exactly at the front, so you're gonna have to come back, mate. Schachmann in the wheel of Nicolas Roche, Christian Rodriguez is also in the wheel of Schachmann, Thomas de Rent is there as well, everyone wants to get the first three points of um, today's stage in San Miguel. The first attack has been made though, it's Christian Rodriguez, Christian Rodriguez making the move, Jan Bakerons trying to come back on uh, the young Spaniard, Nicolas Roche attacks now, it might be a bit late, I don't know if I'm going to be able to overtake him, and if I do... Uh, I think I might get overtaken by the likes of Thomas de Rent. Uh, can I hold on? Charman gets the points. I get two points. Uh, de Rent got one, I think. He did. Okay. That's good. That's 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 solid. Because uh, Charman got only one point back on me. So he's now eight points behind. Okay. Okay. I don't understand what's happening, but like everyone's getting dropped and there's groups absolutely everywhere. Uh, I, it's it's weird. Valguen has attacked though with Dilantons. Schachmann has been caught up. I can't let Dilantons go. I cannot let Dilantons go in the group. That is absolutely no. So yeah, Nico Roche, mate, do your job. Come back on the boys. Valguen has dropped Dilantons. Nico Roche has attacked to try and come back on Dilantons. Uh, don't stay behind the motorbike, you might fall. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Alright, two points. Uh, who was first? Was that Valgren? I think I don't think Valgren is dangerous for me. Although I could be wrong. Where's Zoran? Why is everyone getting dropped? Why, what is happening? What is happening in this group? Uh, oh, actually, that's a, that's a nice group though. Turns, De Rent, Rodriguez in Tom Schoens. I like that breakaway. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep that breakaway, but I like it. Right, I'm probably going to get dropped in this round of, it, uh, of uh, the climb. Michael Valgren is looking quite strong to get um, more points added to its tally. Rodriguez second, turns... Okay, I'm only four points clear now. Only four points clear. That's not good. I need I need a bigger cushion right now. I need a much bigger cushion. Nico has been dropped with Tom Screens and Thomas de Rent. It's only going to be Dilantons, Rodriguez and Valgren now. Uh, I I was scared that that happened. Uh, and sadly it did. Now they all look completely knackered. If Valgren could get the points, uh Fox is gonna be Rodriguez, isn't it? If it's Rodriguez, I'm fucked. If it's Rodriguez, I'm completely fucked. Um, I mean, either way, I'm completely fucked now because I'm uh, Roche has been brought back by the peloton. Okay, I need Zoran Karf Anderson to come back on Christian Rodriguez before the summit of the Azur Key. I don't think that's possible. And if it is, then Zoran Karf Anderson is the best rider there's ever been on earth. And we're gonna do it. We're going to come back. I love him. I love Zoran Kraft Anderson. Winning Milan, Milano San Remo and also doing this. All heroes don't wear cape. Actually, there's even like a slight group. Okay. I, I, I like that. Um, you, I can stop pacing now. Why am I still pacing? Like, the peloton has been like back. We're, we're, we're good to go. Crash. There's been a crash. Thibaut Pino is down with Bob Jungles and Miguel Angel Lopez. Uh, I don't know if anyone has retired. I don't think so. 
Nope. No one has retired. Uh, so that's good for them. Not exactly great for me. But for now, 40 men in the peloton. I don't know if Dylan Tunes is here. He is. So I can't have Dylan Tunes in that group. Well, I can't have him getting points. So we're going to have to like prevent that from happening. The rhythm in this climb is once again completely crazy. Like, as soon as there's a climb, the 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 gap, just, sorry, the rhythm is just nuts. Uh, everyone had come back in the main group. Uh, well, everyone's gonna like get dropped once again. What you do? What do you think you're doing, mate? No, 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 no. Ain't no attacks by Christian Roder. Yes. No one's attacking under my watch, and not you, especially not you. Who does he think he is? He's gonna get 8 points. He's gonna get 8 points. Oh, you're mad. You're taking the piss. I've been I've been done. I've just been done by Christian Rodriguez. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why could you get like blocked? Why couldn't you get blocked? Because I did. I for sure did with Nico Roche. Like the man completely died in the group. Well, I mean I've lost the jersey. Uh, which uh, sucks. One kilometer to go in the Ascensio, um, the final climb of this tour. Uh, sadly, there's only six points to be taken, so even if Soren Kraft uh, were to cross the line first, which he probably will, uh, it won't be enough to overtake Chris and Rodriguez. Yes, I'll end up on like 24 points, I think, um, which will be uh, like three points behind, I think. Yeah, 24. I need three more points. There's no climbs left. So Chris and Rodriguez is going to win the mountain classification. Fair point to him. He played me well. Uh, I've been bullied by the AI, by Caro Uh But yeah, now we just need to uh, be careful. For fuck's sake, why is there? A why do you put the KOM before the end of the climb? Come on. So there's attacks. Richard Carapaz has attacked. Uh, okay, I need to be careful because Wilco's energy is looking bad. Carapaz has attacked, Kroivak has attacked, everyone's attacked, everyone has attacked, and Wilco is at the very last place of the peloton, come on, just hold on, son, hold on. Alright, it's now or never, it's now or never, if I want to get a gap on uh, Carapaz and Ber on, uh, Bernal and, R and Roglic, I have to attack now, but the rhythm is just way too strong, there's no way I can attack here, and um, there won't be any gaps, there's also no bonus time, so I've lost. Brilliant! You just love to you, you you love to like know that you've lost a tour before it actually ends. Is there a left turn? There is. We're gonna take the lead in the left turn, and we're gonna end up with a uh, wow! Not even a top, not even a top ten. The win for Andre Amador, Alaphilippe, Bil uh, Valverde, Bilbao, Kelderman, Pauls, Freile, Jungels, Yates, Kroivak, Kudkowski eleventh, Primoz Roglic somewhere at the back. Yep. But he's gonna win the tour nonetheless. Take his revenge on Wilco Kelderman. Bad day for us. We we lose the well we, we didn't win the GC, we lose the mountain jersey, we lose the stage. Yeah, not great. Podium times, Andre Amador is the surprising winner of the final stage of the Tulia Basque Country between Aymar, uh, between Eibar and Aibar. Julian Lafilippe gets second with Alejandro Valverde in third. Uh, Wilco Kellerman brings him 5th position, which probably will be enough to keep the points jersey, at least I, I hope so. Uh, but GC-wise, Primoz Roglic, after winning the, team, the, the, the time trial of the Tour, wins the GC, he hasn't done anything since. I don't even think he's got a top 10. Well, no, he got 8th yeah, place on the uh, Queen stage. But apart from that, we haven't seen anything of Primoz Roglic, but he still won. So congratulations to him, he wins ahead of Egan Bernal and Wilco Kellerman. Christian Rodriguez wins the mountain classification ahead of Soren Kraft Hansen and Nicolas Roche, who completely choked today. Um, and I didn't play well uh, when I had to defend from Christian Rodriguez. So, yeah, uh, that's, that's um, a solid L for me here. Um, points jersey, I'm hoping I've got it. Yeah, 75 points for Wilco Kelderman is enough to uh, keep the jersey on the shoulders of the, um, of the Dutchman. Soren Kraft Anderson is tied for second position with Julien Alaphilippe. Best young rider is going to be Egan Bernal. Chris Hamilton completely dropped at the end of today's stage. Um, so the best team probably won't be me. No, it's Asana. 
Okay, well, it's quite disappointing. Uh, I mean, it's hard to win the, that kind of stages, and knowing that I have to have a... The thing is, knowing that I needed a gap was very hard, because usually, like, I just sprint to get, like, first place, to get 10 seconds, to then win the GC. But this tool doesn't work like that, and having no bonus time is very hard uh, on stages like that. Because you can't make gaps. You, you actually cannot make a gap. So, we bring them th third place uh, and the points jersey. At least, it, it's better than nothing, I guess. But, uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode of the um, of the Team Standard Career Mode, then please let me know in the comments down below, or also by destroying the like button. You've just seen that we're going to do Paris Ruben next. That'll be for the next video, nonetheless. So if you want to see it, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. There's uh, the Vuelta coming soon on the channel, no Eneco Tour or Bing Bang Tour, uh, because there's no 2019 route uh, released on PCM, and I didn't feel like doing the 2018 one, because I honestly don't like the tour, and uh, like I'm not going to do a thing that is not updated. Um, so yeah, the Vuelta is coming soon, career mode is going to continue, there's some FIFA 20 videos coming along the way. Um, so yeah, a lot of content. Uh, until like school starts again because I still have school <laughs> um, but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed the videos as said leave a like um, like smash the like button actually subscribe to the channel if you're new on here hit the bell to get notified whenever I upload but until next time I have been Blackwall it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today guys and goodbye pull up pull up in the gold I'm leading but the mother man need feeding I don't want to go bombi them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding in the pack in black and I'm on with the bad Snapping with a phone and dab I'll stop him out with a duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster